It's JT here with the first test run of the ZTX-10. I, you guys know that I changed out the tires and wheels on it. These are the tires and wheels from the Force RC Outbreak Monster Truck. So I still have it with the stock gearing and the stock system in it. But I'm going to give it a test run to see how these tires hold up. And I know the tires will hold up, but actually see how the car holds up to these tires and wheels being larger. Um, I know they do have a monster truck, um, but I believe the monster truck may have longer A-arms than this um, stadium truck here. And the gearing ratio may be a little different as well. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing up. And, you know, I got to do a quick test run before I take it off road. Now, I am running a 3S LiPo in here. And the reason why, um, if I wanted more power, I just wanted to be able to um, put a, a 3S LiPo on instead of a 2S LiPo, of course. Because I don't want to put a super high power system in here. Um, I've heard some people and some of their reviews talk about um, differential issues, but I believe they started changing out uh, systems and stuff in it as well. So this is actually running pretty good too. And this is still stock servo and everything in it. So. All right, let's take this thing off road real quick. All right, we'll get this baby and try it off road real quick. So as I was saying, I heard some people talk about uh, differential issues um, I haven't had a chance to open the diffs up just yet to see what I was going in there I haven't had any yet but I left the car stock out the box too though I haven't went in and you know I haven't changed anything I haven't changed the oh, come stay on your feet there you go uh, I haven't changed anything in it gear races or anything because I truly believe, I mean, if you start wanting more power, you probably will start um, maybe tearing this thing apart. If you start putting four or 5,000 kV motors in it, running it on uh, 3S and stuff like that. I think if you put a 4,000 kV in it and you ran it on 2S only, um, it'd be fine. But I think when you start getting to running 3S power, it may be too much. So, And that's just my opinion of running this truck. And looking at some of the specs, I think it's with the bigger tires and wheels and it being a little bit heavier than the buggy, it's going to put more strain on that drivetrain. But but that's kind of why I got these, right? To do some testing with it. <laughs> And I think, actually just seeing how this is running, I think this setup, even with this stock system in here and the stock gearing, is probably the max you want to put in here. So I know the truck is at a good price, $135 brushless with LiPo and charger. I think that's a great price for what you're getting with this because you can't even buy any two-wheel drive um, brush truck that I can think of right now for that price so if anything if you got the truck and you ran it for I don't know several months um, and you started having to replace parts on it you didn't want to keep it you could at least keep the brushless system and use it in something else comes with a 2.4 gigahertz radio so that in itself pays for it but I'm going to have to get my um, LRP buggy out here and run it against this. Of course, this is going to be a little bit faster. I can see it already. But I think on a track or running on a course, the LRP buggy is going to run a lot better. I mean, it's got sway bars and everything on it. This one doesn't have that on there, but you can always add them on there. And so while I'm here, some of you guys talk about different surfaces and stuff. Periodically, I do run on different surfaces. But a lot of times when I shoot my videos, I try to make sure I shoot the cars in the same 
terrains. Every now and then I'll go to some different areas and stuff and all that, but I want you guys to see how each one of these cars handles on the different on the same surface that I run on. For instance, you guys know I ran my voltage out here and then I upgraded it. Um, and you guys saw how that handled out here. And I've taken, of course, the Granite 4x4, the Sensen, etc. So what I'm trying to show you guys is how these cars are handling on the same surface. Because that'll give you a good comparison of how each car handles on the same type of surface. And then every now and then, like I said, I will go to different areas and run it too. But some of the first initial runs... Oh, you didn't land on your feet. Some of the first initial runs, I do try to run on the same surface, so. Now, you guys know I said before when I had the outbreak that, um, but I, was, I still haven't that had, but I still have it, that the tires were cool for it. Um, they didn't give it, when I went brushless with it, they didn't give it the best amount of uh, traction with it but they were still fine for what they were worth so so if you go 2s brushless in the outbreak it'll be fine but you guys can see my video on that as well i had the actual arma BL, uh, blx system in there so it did okay i mean it, it ran good and the truck is really really light i mean real light but those two run about the same price this is 135 the outbreak is 139 one's brush this is brushless um, they both come with batteries, just ones with a nickel metal. Of course, this one's with a light boot. So I wonder how this system actually would handle in there. I might, I might do that. So. So this is handling pretty good. Um, this is probably, like I said, um, this thing is probably tapped out, maxed out right where it's at. I'm not going to plan on, a. Doing too much more to this. So you guys stay tuned for some of my final thoughts on this car. Uh, it's been good so far. Like I said, for the price you pay. Um, and the only problems that I've seen people say they have would be the differentials. Which I haven't had any yet. But I need to check those two afterwards um, before I do my final thoughts. So uh, it's, it's kind of a give or take. I think if you put a high power system in it, you'll have problems with it. Um, but I think if you leave it stock out the box and run 2S, you want more speed. Run 3S. Um, I think you'd be doing pretty good. So, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, stay tuned for more videos. And thanks for watching, guys.